I've been trying Codex CLI for a couple of weeks now, and there are some things I really like about it, but there are also some things that I think needs fixing. And in this video, I'll give you guys a demo on my typical workflow with Codex and how I managed to maximize the result from Codex and also how I utilize the different models that it provides. To start off, the key to using any coding agent to get the maximum output is of course, you need to have a really good workflow. And the workflow that I always use is the spec driven development approach where I just do some planning. And yeah, it's pretty much just a fancy word for doing context engineering, where you provide the maximum amount of information about your project and also your tasks and just let the AI agent have the access to those information. So it has the best understanding about your project. Here's how I've broken it down. So basically once everything, once the planning stage is done, you would ideally have a knowledge base, which could be documentation about your project, which is like this explanation about your tech spec, your app flow and everything else. And there's going to be the tasks, a specific set of tasks for a specific feature you're working on. And also along with that comes the tech spec or the technical or the technical specification document where you'll have the summary of what feature you want to build. And to create all those planning documentation or getting all those contacts, I am going to be using Codespace, which has a free tier right now. You can try that for a limited time. What it does is pretty much it will have your repo analyzed and get docs and create a knowledge base uh, from your code base, which you can see here. And this will be the source for information for your AI when you're coding locally or when you're using the Codespace agent. And to create the text pack and the subtasks, it's just as simple as creating a task here and then you just write your prop and just detail everything you want to make in this task. I've already made a task and that I'll be demoing on this video. The app that we will be working on is called the everything app, which is on my previous video, which is pretty much just an app where we'll be able to do a lot of the different AI functionalities and we'll have access to different AI models to interact with and pretty much just eliminate other subscriptions that we're on. For example, like perplexity, ChatGPT, Claude, and every other models or AI tools. So I've already made this task and it has generated the text pack, which is very complete here. This was my original description. It was very simple, but it enhanced it and created a full on text pack with all the specification that I want. As you can see here, it even have a lot of details regarding the approach that it should take and also the components it should edit. Now, other than that, there is this subtask that it also created, which is going to be sort of a guideline for the agent that will be uh, running these tasks, which would be Codex to, you know, have a very detailed and specific set of instructions so it doesn't lose track of what it's going to build and also hallucinate. Without further ado, let's start coding on Codex. So I have already have it open on my VS Code. I always open up my terminal and just run Codex here. As you can see, I am on the plus plan because I don't really, I've never really reached the limit. So I'm just sticking with the ChatGPT plus plan. But anyway, let's start. To start, you just need to copy the prompt, which is given here from Codespace. You can just press implement and then there's a full prompt you can just copy. And what it'll do, it'll just get everything sorted out by connecting to the code guide server through the code guide CLI and then just having all the docs implemented in here, even though I already have it, but the text pack and also the task is not here yet. So we would want that. So we just enter this prompt and then it'll do everything for us. I want to show you guys the task we'll be working on. It's pretty much just a landing page because if you've seen our previous video, we made this everything app, but it does not have a landing page yet. It is still using the default one from our starter kit. And if you don't know, we are using this full stack starter kit from code guide, which is free. You can get it in the link in the description below. It is built on top of Next.js with Shed CN, Tailwind, and the backend is using, sorry, the database is using Drizzle RM with Postgres. And also it is using better auth. So yeah, it is just using the default landing page right now. So what I did was I wrote the simple prompt and it has generated all the text pack and everything. So it is just gonna add a landing page with a hero section, feature section, and just the typical sections you'll find in a landing page. All right, so Codex has finished implementing all the docs to our local directory. As you can see, it has updated, well, I didn't really update much, but yeah, it is. it has already added the docs, which is already implemented on the previous commit, but hey, uh, you can, I just, I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. This is sort of like the main idea of the docs. There's several of them. You can refer to them anytime with Codex. But yeah, for this task, there is already a new task.json that was created, which is the specific subtask that it needs to run to complete the text pack. So what I do is just I make a prompt and I am going to be using the GPT-5 Codex medium model. I find this to have the best speed and also performance and the output is really good. And if I were to do just planning or creating some implementation plans, I will be, I will use GPT-5 high because it is a really good thinking model. But yeah, if you, if you are using the, the one of the high or like thinking models, 
to run these tasks, it is going to take forever. I've tried that. One time it took me more than like 30 minutes to just do a simple task. And when I did, when I use cloud code, it was much quicker. Uh, so yeah, that's what I don't like about Codex. It, turn, it tends to overthink. So yeah, we just, just stick with the GPT-5 Codex Medium. And so this is just a very straightforward prompt. It is just me asking Codex to refer to the text pack, which is here. And yeah, and it should follow the tasks. And that's it <laughs> because this is context engineering. We don't have to do much prompting at the start. We just need it to refer to the docs we want. So let's just continue. And yep, we just wait until it finishes and I'll show you guys the result. Great news when I check code space, I can see that Codex has finished all the tasks, which is here and let us check Codex itself on our terminal. So yeah, it has done everything and yep, it, it did update to, yeah, through code guide so that it is giving the real time progress on code space, which is here. That's nice. Now let's test it out and see how it looks. I see, I see there is now. Uh, so yeah, I'm on this page, which is the main page that should be where the landing page is. Um, let me just do a quick code review. It did create a separate components, which is what was in the text pack. That's nice. And it, yeah, it is very simple because it is just a landing page and it is like, there's not many like dynamic, um, you know, functions and everything, but yeah, you can see here it is uh, pretty basic. It is using dummy data for now. That's okay. And for the pricing, it is, yep, it's uh, it's using chat CN, which is what I wanted also. So yeah, let's see. Oh, that's nice. It also has like full on um, type safe safety. So that's good. Now let's check what it looks like. And yep, okay. Let me refresh. All right. So it is looking kind of very like generic, like a, you know, typical chat CN style of landing pages. Uh, but it does, it did follow what I asked it to, which is like a hero section and a feature section that looks okay. And yeah, the rest is okay. Yeah, and then the most importantly, the pricing section, and it did follow the text pack uh, because it has implemented the free um, plan with the bring your own key um, schema and then the the monthly plan and also the enterprise plan, which is nice. Now, yep, this is also good. The footer is set up. Okay. So what I like to do to improve my UI, especially with AI, I just go to 21st dev, I search or go through the category of components that gives you the actual code or from different libraries, for example, Ascendity UI and also like ShadCN and other, like a lot of different um, indie devs also post here. So you can see different references. And right now I am, I do want to improve this um, hero section. So what I do is I just go here, go to the hero section and yep, let's see. Yeah, this looks nice, but let me find one that fits the app. So I came across these three components actually <laughs> right next to each other. And they do look really good in terms of, so this is like a good layout, uh, which is currently already implemented, but yeah, the buttons here are better because it has better spacing and I just like it all around. And this has a really good like text effect. And for the background, I do want to use this. And so I'm going to show you how I would plan this out. Uh, I just, I don't want to like just copy everything to the prompt because then that will get messy. So what I do with Codex is I just go and use the GPT-5 high model for planning. And what I do is I will just copy and ask it to create a plan first. So let's just switch to GPT-5 high. Uh, and then I just write my initial instruction. Which, so yeah, I just wrote these instructions. And what I do next is I just create an MD file because I know 21st dev will create a lot of different, like um, the prompt is very extensive, so it's very long. And I don't want to, I want, I don't want it to, you know, uh, crash my terminal. So what I do is I just make a separate MD file. Okay. so. I've written down or I just made this .md file or markdown file for all the components I want to use. And what I do next is just open up Codex and use GPT-5 high. And what I do is just make a plan for it. So it is going to be a very specific set of tasks that it will do. So it doesn't hallucinate because especially this with this many contacts, it might hallucinate. So what I do is just make sure it goes through the, um, make sure it goes through this file and actually makes a plan for it, or at least like the tasks for it. There we go. I just wrote a very quick, straightforward prompt as usual. So I just wrote, uh, I want to improve the hero section, which is my main goal. And then I just say, use the three components, which is in the file. Now, after that, I did ask it to create a separate markdown file. That way I can have another reference to start the other tasks from using the GPT-5 codex media model. So let's just start that. GPT-5 high created this implementation plan or 
is saying it's an improvement plan, <laughs> which is the same thing. But yeah, you just uh, reference the UI components that I wanted to add and also what needs to pretty much change in the hero section. And it did that uh, after I asked it to run with the GPT-5 Codex media model for running the tasks. And also I did some several other smaller tasks. Now this is the result. So I think this looks really good now. It is like very, you know, not very AI generated, as you can say. And it is a major improvement than those chat CN, you know, landing pages. So yeah, like Codex overall does a really good job on UI stuff. Um, and also, of course, because we have really good planning and we use GPT-55 for the other planning. And if it is going to be like a more complex feature, then we would do more planning with GPT-55. But that was just a very like simple use case. Codex, I would say, is really good at UI. Every time I use it, it does tend to take longer than other agents. And the result is like not, you know, not justifiable. <laughs> so what I like to do is just always do planning with Codex. And I always just ask it to create a implementation plan with the GPT-5 high model and then just execute everything on the GPT-5 medium model. And it does tend to, you know, require less prompts and yeah, of course, less hallucinations. And because of the wait time of it working on every task, that saved me a lot of time. And so, yeah, that's that's my opinion on Codex. And yeah, it is a overall a really good tool for AI coding, especially since it is bundled with the ChatGPT model or the ChatGPT plan, which means that pretty much everyone should have it so yeah, that's it. And if you want to do planning, don't forget, try at Codespace. It is free for a limited time. If you have any feedback or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.